Hey everyone, me at the Horror Universe here. So I did try to upload my reaction to the new um, Halloween Ends track which was released today, which was titled The Procession. Uh, unfortunately, Universal Studios blocked my video, as expected. You know, Universal Studios is very sensitive when it comes to audio, for some reason. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, so sadly, you won't be able to hear my reaction to that. Um, but I'm going to give you my overall thoughts on what I thought of the procession. Or procession. Whatever, however it's pronounced. Um, I thought it was really good. It was very solid. Um, it was like classic John Carpenter goodness. Like John Carpenter... With, without John Carpenter, there's no Halloween. Like, he is... The embodiment of Halloween. And you can hear it in the new soundtrack. He has not lost his touch. He is such a fantastic composer. Along with Cody Carpenter and Daniel Davis. They are all fantastic as well. Um, but yeah. In terms of the sound design. I'm not actually going to spoil anything. Because I want you to experience it for yourself. But I will say this, it has a very Halloween 2-esque feel. When I was listening to it all the way through, I could think of Halloween 2 for some reason. And there is definitely a nod to, let's just say, a track you lot are all familiar with in Halloween 2018 that plays somewhat in the middle to near the end of the track. Um, of course, if I was allowed to show you my reaction to the track, you'd know exactly what I mean. But, of course, Universal Studios will not allow it. Uh, in terms of the actual soundtrack, this is confirmed that it was leaked. Because, <laughs> um, like, the cover's exactly the same. Um, it's the same thing that happened with Halloween Kills. You know, they leaked the soundtrack. Then a few days to weeks later, they uploaded Unkillable. Exactly the same happened with Halloween Ends. I really did expect this, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, that's kind of weird, though, because it's like... Did they initially plan to release this track on the 13th of September anyway? So that's how it got leaked? I don't know. But it says by uh, that... The OST is available digitally on the 14th of October, as expected, and physically the 20th of January? Huh? Wait. Why the 20th of January? <laughs> um, okay, that's a bit weird. It says 1 slash 20, so I'm assuming that means 20th of January. That does not make any sense at all. You would think they would release it both digitally and physically on October 14th. I don't know. Perhaps that might be some sort of special edition or vinyl or whatever. Because that really doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But um, yeah, if you hear the track, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, yeah. See you all later for my live stream, which of course will be at 7pm, where we can talk Halloween goodness and whatever. You know, our usual spooky uh, hype-up season thing. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, see you all in the next one.